It's a major local landmark in the fight against COVID-19. South Africa and Africa's first clinical trial to find a vaccine for the virus starts this week. Wits University has announced that uh, 2,000 South Africans will take part in the trials until August. Local scientists are testing a vaccine created and trialed in the UK as well as Brazil. Here's Graham Robinheimer with more details. There are currently 115 COVID-19 vaccine trials across the globe, but only six of them are testing on humans. One of these trials will soon take place in South Africa. With 150 million rand in funding, a team led by Wits University will start testing a UK candidate vaccine on Gauteng volunteers this week. The study itself is being sponsored by the University of Oxford, who will be collaborating with on the study, but the study is led by South Africans, with myself as being the national principal investigator. And the funding from the study is not coming from the United Kingdom, but rather it's coming, it's been co-funded by the South African Medical Research Council and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Volunteers must be between the ages of 18 and 65 and not have COVID-19. 50 of the participants will be HIV positive to see how they react to the candidate vaccine. The proposed vaccine will be administered over the next two months and volunteers will be monitored for a year. We would be able to have an answer for this particular vaccine by the end of this year. That is our best case scenario. It might take longer depending on how quickly we are through outcome cases. But even after that has been completed, it doesn't mean that a vaccine becomes available immediately. Uh, because what needs to then happen is that there needs to be manufacturing plants that are set up, which is currently being done for this vaccine, both in Europe, in the United States, as well as in India. Scientists hope that if successful, a vaccine will achieve what's called herd immunity after immunizing at least 60% of the population. Graham Robenheimer, Johannesburg.